what is happening. Sorry for the lack of video on this new channel. I obviously live in England and it's freezing. It's winter time, Christmas, rain, no snow, however. So I didn't really want to go outside and work on the car, but today uh, it's literally three degrees. But I've got a little satin satin in the post and we're gonna go out. I'm gonna try, ooh, ooh! I love it when companies send you sweets. Ooh. And a little anime air freshener. Very cool, thank you Tegiwa. Tegiwa, for those that have never ordered, check them out. They always send you little goodies. Where is what I actually ordered? There it is. Today, we oh, can't see through these packets, this is gonna be well interesting. Some VTEC solenoid gaskets. I've had neural leak for about since I've owned the car. But it's been so slow it doesn't even drip on the floor. But now it's starting to show on the stick. So we're gonna give it a go, changing the VTEC gaskets and see if that fixes the leak. Hopefully it does. Because as you saw in the last video, I did have an oil leak for my distributor, changed that, and then the car blew up. But we're over that now, we don't talk about it. So let's get outside in the cold and start scraping my knuckles on some engine parts. Right, so this is what we're dealing with today. VTEC solenoid, there's a gasket. In, there's two gaskets in there, one holding it to the block, one holding the actual VTEC solenoid to the top of the piece that you're looking at. Now we're gonna disconnect these plugs, undo these three bolts, but leave them in. You'll see why later. And there's a couple of bolts holding it to the back of the block. Um, let's get to it. Careful not to break any of these wires or plugs. They're very old and brittle, like everything else in this car. It just snaps when you move it. And there you've got the VTEC solenoid. You can see obviously a lot of oil just spilled out, but when you look at the front of the engine, it's not really a problem. And I think that's where this whole leak here was coming from. It was coming from there. There was definitely an oil leak in there. Fix that and it's still carried on. So this is hopefully where that pesky oil is coming from. But there you can see the gasket. We're gonna replace that. There's also one in here. The reason we undone these bolts to begin with is it's harder to crack them loose when the whole solenoid is off the car. So we just tidy up, make sure there's no oil drip on the floor, and then we'll take this inside to get it cleaned up and change the gaskets over. Right, back in the gaff in the warm. One oily VTEC solenoid, you can see one gasket here and there's another one up here i've taken the top three bolts out that we loosened off earlier reason you do it loosen them off in the car as i said very hard to get some torque on it once this whole thing is off the block so let's open our new gaskets check they actually look like they're gonna fit it does it does, the first part I've bought that hasn't taken me three attempts to get the right part. And then, this little one goes in the top section, which I'm yet to crack open. Uh, I thought taking the bolts out, it would just fall apart. Evidently not. There was loads of crap on that gasket. Um, I don't really want to pull on that top bit. Come on, I've taken all the bolts out. Just come apart, fuck ya. A little bit of persuasion. Oi. Right, so there you see the second gasket in the top. Let's take these out very carefully. You don't want to damage the metal. Uh, what am I going to take it out with? You shouldn't really do it with a screwdriver in case you damage the metal around the edge of the gasket. But that's what we're gonna do. That gasket is actually solid and that 
just, that just proves that this needs changing. This one is nice and soft and springy. This one is actually rock solid and I can't get even a screwdriver under it to pry it out. So, new idea. Come on. Solid, uh, solid. That gasket is solid. So when, when a rubber gasket turns into, oh, this is unreal. I've never ever dealt with a gasket this solid before. So. Just goes to show most likely that's where my leak was coming from because this gasket has completely had it there we go but it actually holds a shape this rubber shouldn't do that so get rid of that get the one off the top one off the top wasn't leaking but while i'm here might as well excuse my sniffles for some reason i'm having a hay fever attack in the middle of January, obviously. Because this country don't hate me enough. Just give me hay fever in the winter as well. Make him suffer all year round. Hmm. Now this gasket looks like it's got... Huh. Huh. These gaskets are not the same. They're kind of the same. No, that's not gonna fly. Like, one's got a little filter in it and one hasn't. Uh, that could be a problem. Let me fit it and see. Oh no, what to do, what to do? Panicking, slightly panicking. And that one wasn't leaking. What do I do? Do you know what? But I'm going to fit this one anyway, and then we can always come back and change it should we need to. They might have changed the design of, of this one, and it's no longer leaded. I don't know. It's, or maybe someone in this comment section was telling me I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, I clean my parts up with wet wipes. Ain't no blue rag cleaning here. Give that little rubbings. So top part reassembled with new gasket, potentially the wrong gasket sitting in there. We won't know about it for now. Right, uh, ooh, made a complete mess. So next up, clean up the main, the bigger gasket, the one that seats the solenoid to the block. New gasket, fairly self-explanatory. You want the little basket, the filter to be facing inwards. You don't want it poking out because then when you put it on the back of the block, you're going to crush it. That goes in like that. Does it? Does it go in like that or is it just popping out again? With a gentle bit of persuasion, in it goes. And you can see already this one, this hard rigid one, sat completely flat. So it wasn't protruding from the solenoid at all. Um, this one, you probably can't see the camera. But it's gonna give you a much better seal against the block. Hopefully that is gonna be the end of my eight year oil leak. Right, we should be good to go. Re refitting is the reverse of removal. So let's get that done. Five minute job. Famous last words in it, now I said five minute job, I'm going to snap a bolt in the block. Right, hopefully all your oil stopped leaking out. What I'm going to do is just clean up that surface a little bit so we get a good seal against the block. Obviously using a wet wipe because we don't like dry wipers around here, scumbags.
right now they're just finger tight just do them all up obviously we need to check if the car still starts and check for any obvious oil leaks spurting out but hopefully we should be good ignore that fan belt squeak don't, don't you worry about it And there you have it, one leak potentially fixed. It's too cold for me to be out there scrubbing old oil off the engine block to see if the leak is still there, but I'm pretty confident. So if you've got an oil leak, don't wait eight years like I did. Just go and change the gasket, 10 minute job, some 10 mil bolts, simple, easy down. I didn't even break anything else doing it. Touch wood, everything is working, which is a rarity. Usually when I touch a car, I break something else trying to fix one thing. But I'm sure you've all been there, innit? Anyway, that's enough. Bye.